Hello everyone and welcome to today's Morning Report analysis videos on Thursday the 5th of January with me Richard Perry, market analyst at Tantec Markets. We've got um, another very cautious open uh, on European stock markets, nothing really doing in terms of direction. We have got direction though on the dollar and initial downside direction on the dollar index. Um, it dropped away quite sharply uh, in the early moves and that early drop away came as Treasury yields started to fall over the two year, not so much but the 10 year falling away quite sharply however if you can see this chart here you can see that they've actually sort of rallied intraday and that has helped to sort of drive a bit of a dollar rebound so the early weakness or the early selling pressure that we had been seeing through the dollar just unwound slightly um, and that is interesting but it, I mean this is all coming despite the fact that we had um, a hawkish set of Fed min meeting minutes yesterday that FOMC sort of alluded to the fact that um, expansionary fiscal policy would help to drive growth and subsequently might enable um, or might mean that the Fed would need to start tightening the um, interest rate hikes quicker than uh, previously anticipated. So, I mean, that, that sort of was seen as a dovish move, sorry, as a hawkish move from the Fed in the minutes and um, despite that the dollar had initially fell but um, it's just rebounding as uh, treasury yields have started to pick up again today and um, treasury yields still seem to be driving the dollar so uh, these are charts that you have to be watching if you're going to be looking at dollar moves I think. Um, it's interesting that um, we had seen earlier on uh, the oil price yesterday rallied on the dollar weakness but it's again it's falling away slightly um, and uh, as I said, equity markets are relatively settled, although a little bit on the cautious side today. Um, we've got my chart of the day. Uh, sorry, we've got the um, factors to look out for today, which are the um, basically the, S, um, the service sector PMIs. Um, we've had China services PMI came out better than expected, so that was a seemed to be a positive for market sentiment but generally speaking we're looking at service sector PMIs for the UK and the US and then US employment stats so first of all the UK we're looking at um, the service sector PMI for the UK expected to drop back to 54.7 but I would say that um, we've had manufacturing and construction both beating expectations quite strongly for the UK so it wouldn't be necessarily a surprise to see that um, beat on the upside. Now we've also got the uh, ISM non-manufacturing PMI at 3 o'clock and that's expected to sort of stay around about where it was last month very slightly lower at um, 56 spot 6 but uh, again that would be a relatively positive number there um, also today we've got the employment stats and um, we've got the ADP employment change at uh, 115 now that is expected to uh, be two, uh, be dropping from 216 to 171,000. So it'll be interesting to see if that is reflected in the uh, non-farm payrolls data tomorrow. Um, but that's at 115. And then finally, we've got something that's going to impact the oil price, which is the uh, weekly um, oil inventories, which um, is expected to see crude oil stocks dropping um, on the inventories by 2.5 million barrels. So that would be um, supportive for oil prices but we'll also look at the distillates and the gasoline which are expected to show a build of 2 million barrels each so um, just watch out for those numbers um, they could be the balancing factor there for um, if uh, if the crude oil stocks do drop by 2.5 million barrels. The, a, uh, the API data yesterday came in um, as a bigger than expected drawdown so uh, a, 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 um, a drop of 2.5 million barrels wouldn't be unexpected today. Now my chance today is silver and we've been looking at this gold price rally and silver price has also been rallying but it's interesting to see that um, I'm still of the expectation that I think rallies are going to be sold into. Look at this over the last sort of five, six months really. We've seen consistent lower highs, lower lows. The um, sort of lower highs are also accelerating down. Now the latest lower high is this uh, one at uh, 1724, 1725 area which um, sort of produced the um, resistance through December. Now we've had this rally picking up um, above the resistance at uh, 1625. This is the hourly chart above that resistance. So you could uh, arguably measure a bit of a base pattern 1560 up to 1625. That's what 65 cents measured higher from 1625. That gives you 1680 area. We've sort of hit 1670 today 
then sort of come off. But 1680 is around about where we get all this um, sort of congestion, really, this uh, overhead supply from the December trading. So I think that could be the limit of the trading. And uh, what we have seen is this RSI unwinding as well. Now you can see here on the chart there's 60, fit between 50 and 60 seems to be where the rallies peter out. So you're probably in, uh, at the moment you're in a, a near term improving outlook with the stochastics accelerating higher. But I would say that I think the upside potential is relatively limited from this sort of level. I think 1680 seems to be a fairly decent sort of ballpark area for sort of selling as the um, overhead supply of this trading from November, December comes in. So um, I don't necessarily think we've got too much upside, but I still think there is a, a near term outlook, which is positive, but I think it's going to produce another medium term selling opportunity. So 1625 is your neckline support. So zoom in there, see it in more detail. And subsequently below that, we've got this reaction low at 1587 from Tuesday. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.